we got a package. Is this licorice sticks? This, my friends, is P-Tex. So I've got two sticks of P-Tex here to fix a snowboard. There it is, $9.95 Australian. Cheap as, if that's US, that's probably like six bucks for some P-Tex. Um, and that's what you use to fix dings in your snowboard. But I thought these guys were pretty cool and I definitely recommend you buy it off this website if you're looking um, to get some P-Tex. TheMountainGarage.com.au Together, we've supported snowboarding, apostrophe. A few things. All packing is either reused, recyclable, or even better yet, compostable. Please return me to the earth, smiley face. So, this sheet of paper, I'm going to bury it, and we're going to come back a month later and find out if it's gone. So, there it is. I recommend you buy your P-Tex from these guys. I'm not sponsored by them. Pause the video here if you want to go check that stuff out. I'll also leave a link in the description down below. Let's get into the fixing of the snowboard. Alright, so the first things that you need when doing a P-Tex repair on a snowboard, you need a razor, that, so a sharp edged piece of metal, a plastic pick that's just to be tuning everything up once it's done, the P-Tex and the lighter. And the first thing we're going to do is grab the razor and if there's any rough edges like little bits sticking up you just want to go in there and completely remove them be sure not to add extra damage to the board when doing this but if there's like a little bit of something sticking up just get in there and remove it because you don't want that getting in the road of the repair okay so this lighter I tried to use did not work out of juice but this baby, you push this in, push that in. Oh, it was working. There we go, look at that flame. Alright, we're off. So you want to light the P-Tex on fire. You want to keep it low to the board. There we go, so now it's on fire as you can see and drooping. You want to droop it in the right location. So I'm going to go over to here, keep it low to the board so you've got a blue flame. And just fill up any nasty gouges with P-Tex. It's better to have more than less of this, this stuff. Oh, it's coming out again. So just filling up the gaps, keeping it low. Try and keep it a blue flame. Turn. Once you've filled all the gouges that you see up, it's almost time to put it out. I've actually got one over the other side. And then blow it out once you're done. That's it. So as you can see, now the board is already actually looking better than it was before, so just let that go out. As you see, just blow it out. And then we wait for this to slightly dry, not too dry, but dry enough. Come back with the razor and just get rid of that. But these P-Tex sticks last for ages, so yeah, I, I recommend wearing a mask because that was not good proving that crap in. Don't want to use the sharp end of your razor when cleaning it up. Just the other edge. And look at that, you don't even know that there was a ding anywhere. But can I tell you that is, is some magnificent stuff. That's a heck ton easier than preparing a surfboard. I can tell you that from being a surfer. That's looking pretty fresh. So I'll get back to you when it's all done. So now that's pretty much done, the ding repair on the snowboard, so it's fully flush, all of them. Yeah, 
hope you liked it. Um, all I did was I just scraped it back as I showed you and that's it. Waiting for the time to pass me by